Trey Wilcox cook for you. That's true. You Welcome can. back. Good right to on. see you. You've been doing a lot of special events and some private yeah, dinners. Yeah, staying as well. on the sidelines of the restaurant game right now. Trey Cooking Concepts. I'm doing a lot of catering, a lot of cooking classes. A lot of appearances, just fun stuff and staying close to 13 year old daughter at home. Oh, nice to that see. That is you. great. Good for you. Right Good on. For you. So I thought, you know, with, like I said, being at home and I cook for my daughter dinner and lunch. Lucky I kid. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat good. So I also wanted to come and show something that's really simple. Simple yeah. Thai cuisine, uh, Asian flares on a beef and pasta dish. Okay. Um, Tim's got some skirt steak over here. Which so, is the same okay. stuff you might use for fajitas, right? Yeah. I'm really going to keep it simple. This is lean meat. It does okay. have a little extra chew, but that's why we're going to add a little marinade. Okay. So the marinade right here I want you to make first has these three ingredients, teriyaki juice mm -hmm. or teriyaki sauce, okay. um, red curry powder, and a little bit of lime juice. And then Tim's gonna cut this grain, actually, you see where this grain looks? Mm -hmm. This is the grain, you're gonna cut across the grain. Okay. And we're gonna cut that and we're gonna add that to the marinade. Okay. 20, about 20 minutes later, squeeze it out, and we're gonna start in our pan right here. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So you marinate first, Yep. and you always wanna squeeze out the marinade and then begin to saute the beef. Squeeze okay. It out. okay. Just a little bit. So Tim's gonna process the beef. Lauren, you're actually working on the herbs for this yes. dish. Okay, Thai flavors are all about fresh, clean. So we got mint and we got basil. And those are ingredients we're gonna add right towards the end of the stir fry. Make sense? Right. Yep, yeah. yep. A lot yep. of things going on, but very right. simple. This so, isn't really enough time to marinate it, but I'm gonna pretend. Just to add Well, I've already got, ready. I've got the marinade. Oh, you got it. You know how we do it. <laughs> oh, perfect. So really, I think it's really cool to understand that vegetables like, you know, snow peas, asparagus, squash, bell peppers, all these cool ingredients I have here, yeah. I cut all these up ahead of time. Because one of the things I teach the most in my cooking class is that there's a prep time and there's a cook time. Yep. Okay, the two times should not ever merge together. And great chefs never do the cleanup though, right? <laughs> I, 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 I have know. a daughter and <laughs> I have a wonderful girlfriend too that loves when we yep. cook for her, but I go, you know what? Can you help I me on, the, on the clean part? <laughs> <laughs> so check it out, Tim. I want you to add the red bell peppers and uh -huh. the snow peas, okay? Yep. I want you to add those ingredients. I got the beef cooking with some red onions and some garlic. And it's really starting to smell good, right? Boy, no kidding. Stir fry sauce. This web, this recipe we're not going to make. Obviously, it's got a few components, but this recipe you can find on your website. Okay. okay but it's an oyster sauce steak. It's, okay, it's made with oyster sauce. Okay. Okay, and the base of it's made with water. Lauren, throw your herbs in. Okay. Throw okay. It. Herbs go in right at the end. I mean, you can use bucatini pasta. Let me grab some towel. Sorry, okay. I'm a clean freak. You can use bucatini pasta or you can use linguine pasta, you can use any kind of herbs or any kind of pasta you like. Okay. Just have that pasta cooked ahead of time, and you see? Yeah. Right here I've cooked it, but you I see it's all sticky? Mm -hmm. You do that on purpose. Right. Let it be stay sticky because the stir fry sauce will stick to it. Oh, right nice. on? Okay. So, right here, this is my serving bowl. Yes. Oh. Check it out. <laughs> That's beautiful, okay. all the colors. The colors come together, vegetables are fresh and clean. Add that right to a bowl. Made that See look so easy. Y'all help me out. That's what it's all about. <laughs> so you can call that a Thai pasta right there. Boy, that is terrific. And Ooh. so you're using just regular, any kind of long Italian pasta. Mm -hmm. Linguine, spaghetti. Right. Then you got uh, the nice Asian bucatini. flavors working in there. Make your oyster sauce ahead of time. Have that ready. It keeps for about a month in your refrigerator. Oh. Cut whatever vegetables you like. Use lean beef, marinate it. You got a great thing. You can so find this recipe true. and That's a link it, to uh, Trey's website on our website, myfoxdfw.com. We'll be back. Yes, we will.